Guys, this is the uh, boss's new layout. The new rack. これ可愛い。ブランドのものいや、なんかね、ニューヨークのブランド。ニューヨークのブランド。ちょっと、えっとね、ウォルターっぽいですけど。そう、ね。いや、可愛いこれ。いいな。え、物入れ。あ、ち
you know, like his regular day. He even wore these with hood. It doesn't look too, too formal. It's like casual kind of vibe. So, I guess they're pretty nice. Also learned French in school. Yeah. Also forgot everything. Yeah. Say the sentence. Uh, tu veux faire caca? Caca. What? Do you know caca? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same in all of Europe. What's up? What's up? Like a sad expression. Like almost in crying. I would add tears on Photoshop, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need some music. Yeah, I'm going to go there. you can play okay, thank you. after Wait. this, right? Okay, cool. This one. We work in the same, like... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, it's true, yeah. It's it's cross. Yeah. Then it's small, you know? Yeah. I just made one that uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. Just in the fins, but yeah, just circle for now. Strong. Wow. Oh, strong. Okay, mm. I'm perfect for the move. That is nice. Mm. Photos of the back is good. Uh, let's take some closer ones so we can actually see the cargo pockets in the back. But then it's a bit too dark. Yeah. But for the mood is. It does work as a cover photo. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, I Look half alive, my dog. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another part of this video. I uh, think I included slightly uh, the behind the scenes of the production for the new Chen G season. Um, there's like the bomber and the trousers, but they're not at my place right now. They're sent back for a, uh, you know, the mass production. Because those two are like the more outdoor style kind of stuff. Uh, those two are manufactured in China. So I'm going to show you the items that we have manufactured in Japan this time around. And that is the uh, leather jacket and the artisan hat. So yeah, I guess these two, they kind of work like a kind of work as a set so we actually have the other uh wax trousers but again those are not in my place uh so let's just talk about these two for today so uh these hats they're uh in collaboration with triangles hat uh all made by an uh, artisan in japan called kochi kochi san uh she made all these uh by hand these are uh, burnt ripped open and then uh you know tied together with these um, leather drawstrings and made with uh, to kind of this distressed Western Wanderer look, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And these obviously, uh, as the name suggests, so we call it the Western uh, Artisan Hat. So um, this detail is actually referenced from classic uh, cowboy hats. Uh, even though this is in like a more modern, I guess, rather European silhouette doesn't have a, you know how the western head it kind of flips over like this and it doesn't it's a really nice item probably my favorite uh in the season and other than this let's also talk about the uh leather fencing jacket these are made out of deer skin ethnically sourced from japan this silhouette itself is referenced from fencing jackets basically as the name suggests again Jacket we uh, use when doing the sport fencing. 
Uh, the only difference is that the uh, fencing jacket, usually like a classic, classic one, I believe that the buttons are on the uh, flip side, so on the opposite side. And then uh, the buttons are slightly more towards your armpits, so it's like really hard to buckle them yourselves. Uh, I assume if someone's like a pro is going to uh, a match, the uh, you know fencing uh, person wouldn't be the person who button all these stuff. He's going to have like a coach or like an assistant to do that for him or her. So uh, we move it over here and we made it in a way that it's more, you know, kind of like fits more into like an everyday life. Yeah, this is the back of it. Pretty beautiful. You have a few more panels over here. So when you look on the back, it wouldn't be like too, it wouldn't be too plain. Kind of have like this fluidity and kind of like shapes in, which is also, I believe, uh, a design, the traditional fencing jacket because it's made for sports. So this is actually really practical. I um, dislike designing things that are not practical and I, um, I detest the concept of making something new. I always, when other people ask me about Chenji, what's Chenji all about? Uh, this is, you know, kind of like off the record because this is not an official saying for the brand. But uh, I tell people that we're not inventing new things. We're just reinterpreting what's already there. So for example, like the military jacket that we made, it's a, um, it's an iteration of a actual military jacket from the past but we make it into like a more modern silhouette and we change like certain parts of it so it could be useful in like you know your everyday life it's not like we're trying too hard to you know make this and that tacky stuff that are not really a thing like we're not inventing the new we're literally just reinterpreting representing these stuff that are already there in a modern concept and give it to you guys because we don't need anything more we already have a lot it's just that people don't pay attention to certain things and yeah that's like my little session about my review of the stuff i made obviously this is very subjective because i made these stuff and i love all of it um everything goes online the 30th of april i don't know i hope this video uh drops before the 30th of april but let's see how that one goes and um if you're already following the brand's Instagram, thank you very much for your support. And I'll see you around. Peace. Guys, we're back to the second street. It's a uh, secondhand store. I guess it's all, also in the States. And it's also in Taiwan too. I've, uh, yeah, it's quite international at this point, but it's still one of the OGs. It comes to uh, vintage clothing. So, so I'm taking you guys here. You have some rare earth stuff up there, some trees. Um, CDG. This one's pretty nice. It's a um, shirt from and the Mister. We are looking for a white shirt today, so maybe this works. If it doesn't have the little birds hanging on the wires over here, right in front of it. But this is pretty nice. Ichimang En. I'll translate into a hundred bucks. Joe Sander. Some cute stuff. Mesa Margiela. Blank tea. Everyone needs a blank tea during the summer. I used to own these uh, <laughs> Y3s when I was 18 years old. Bring back a lot of memories. <laughs> Found something pretty rare over here. This is the uh, distressed sweater from number nine. It's only selling there for 400 bucks. Honestly, pretty fair price for it. Yep. It has a really classic look in the back, the distressed details behind the neck. I think they're pretty nice, but these are also pretty nice. I kind of really dig like what they are handing up there. And this is from Mason. Oh my god, there's a logo. Never mind. This one's not that good. It's a it's a it's a good faded colorway, but with that logo, eh, not going to buy it. Are these also Margiela? Anyone knew that Margiela made these? Like a windbreaker mixed with Chinese embroidery. <laughs> these are sick. <laughs> I actually rock these. These are pretty nice. Represent the culture. What else? Oh, there's some trees. These are the trees overalls. These are sick. These are sick. Overalls. Size extra small. Oh. Does that fall hard in?
Look how fucking expensive this is. You wonder what these are. These are some, uh, let's see, Chanel. Chanel, let's see if the Chanel is more expensive than the Paul Harden. It is crazy. Like, guys, I swear to God, Ragtag has the weirdest collection. Like, what is this? Like, we all know why it's, you know, Yoji Yamamoto, but what the actual fuck? I mean... <laughs> oh, they do have the um, Calvin Klein bag. The uh, Raph Simmons CK bag. Four, three, four hundred bucks. Pretty nice. Guys, to continue on how they have the weirdest stuff, they have some trousers, like actually decently washed trousers from OVO from Drake, October's very young. How do they even have this? These are from Faith Connection. Also something that's really natsukashi. Really brings back a lot of memories, nostalgic kind of stuff. So they have some weird ass shit over here, I swear to god. Oh but these are pretty nice. I like these. It's a shirt from Joe Sander. They're selling it for 350 bucks. I think she found a uh, Dior, I don't even know what this is, a top from Dior Homme. This is really nice, wow. Kind of like a cavefish stuff. It's going to look a lot better from not wearing this hoodie on the inside. But you really don't want to see how messy my hair is when I'm not tying it up. That's pretty nice. I like the straps, maybe it's from the Dior archives. Maybe it's not. What up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Taking y'all to a store called Guramu, Gulam in English. Uh, it's, uh, I think, maybe number one, number two. Uh, avant garde stores, avant garde slash artisanal buyer stores in uh, Japan as a whole. Follow me. So, uh, here they have a huge collection of incarnation items. So, uh, these are the denim, the denim trucker jacket. These are pretty damn nice. I thought about buying these. Kind of like the overstitch. What I found also really cool and rare is this one. It's kind of like a racer jacket reference. I like incarnation, also horse leather. Amazing colorway. These are the boots from Leon Manuel Blanc. Uh, I do own a uh, long sleeve on Leon Manuel Blanc. That's a long sleeve with a cloth. Wear that thin basically every week during the winter. Those are super damn nice. My only complaint about the brand is probably about their silhouettes. Sometimes they could be quite on the tight side. So I do prefer to aim for the accessories or the shoe collection or something that I can work as an inner layer when it comes to Leon Manuel Blank. So for example, the boots or the gloves. Over here, we have some jewelry collection. So yeah, same one. That's what I'm wearing right now. So I guess over time, uh, this is a gift from Ling Shi, by the way. This is the black one. Over time, it kind of fades out back into like the silver. I think the designer of this brand, I uh, have no idea how to pronounce it. It's spelled D-E-T-A-G or something. They also own a store in uh, somewhere in Kyoto called 24th of August, I think. It's pretty cool. This is something that I always find amazing when I visit this store and somehow always here, haven't been sold yet. Is this, uh, I think it might be buffalo leather, correct me if I'm wrong, but the color is really amazing. Uh, kind of gives off that 06 U-turn CCP vibe, you know, 06 autumn leather. Those are really nice, also on a shoe from that collection. These are from A1923, aka Augusta. These are, I uh, guess, suede. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but these are my go-tos every single day. And more shoe collection from Incarnation, which is surprisingly relatively affordable. I'm not saying that uh, everyone should pay the, you know, this amount of price for some shoes, but these are retail 50% of the price of a leather jacket from Incarnation. So I guess it could be pretty fair because it's still a considerable amount of leather and then it's a shoe, someone has made it into a shoe. So I guess these could be pretty nice. Also the details. Look at this. This is exactly why I fell in love with this brand. Trying on this uh, size S jacket from Incarnation. This fits slightly larger than I thought it's going to fit. It's pretty damn nice. I love the colorway. I'm always aiming for like a greatest colorway for leather objects, and this is perfect. Like, look at this. 
leather quality is just top 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 notch and these um, over time uh, you see like spots aging of the leather uh, these are going to be more apparent over time so it gives like it gets more darker spots all over the jacket after a considerable period of wearing it it gives like this jacket more character and i think that's what i love about leather and hate about anything that's polyester related because those chemical clothing stuff they just don't age well okay so i'm trying on this uh denim jacket that i always wanted from incarnation it's pretty classy you see like the uh details over here the disconnected seams very nice the fit is not exactly my favorite do expect a uh, denim jacket to be more cropped however the quality is top notch so like it's amazing like look at these look at these buttons like they're really down to every single detail if you guys do have time check out the store Gram is a nice place uh support these seven god brands artisan events uh they're small independent designers so yeah and i guess uh that's it for this video. See you next time. Peace.